Well, the plane carrying over 300 passengers that for days was grounded in France for human trafficking concerns has now finally landed in India. The chartered Airbus landed in Mumbai at around 4 a.m. local time. The plane was initially bound for Nicaragua but was detained in a rural airport near Paris on Thursday. Well, not all of the 300 Indian passengers have reportedly returned. 25 have stayed in France as they requested for asylum, while two others who were detained for human trafficking concerns are also staying behind. But the, but the authorities have now released these suspects as they established that these Indians had boarded the plane on their own free will. The passengers were interrogated by the French authorities for four days. The Battery Airport functioned as a makeshift courtroom for these interrogations. Reports say that uh, the French authorities will continue to probe the case for violation of immigration laws, but no longer for potential human trafficking. The Indian Embassy has thanked the French government and the airport authorities for quick resolution of the solution and the situation at hand, and also for ensuring the welfare and smooth and safe return of the passengers to India. The Indian passengers are believed to be Indians working in UAE. They also include a 21-month-old child and several unaccompanied minors. The intervention by French authorities came after an anonymous tip-off. The informer indicated that the passengers were likely to be victims of human trafficking involving an organized gang. Well, other reports suggest that the detained passengers may have intended to travel to Central America with suspicions of attempting illegal entry into the U.S. or Canada. And for more on this, our correspondent Disha Shah is joining us live from Mumbai. A very good morning to you, Disha. Now the Nicaragua-bound flight with 303 Indian passengers has finally landed in Mumbai at around 4 a.m. local time. What more can you tell us? Well, good morning uh, to you and our viewers who are watching us right now at Beyond. Of course, it's a sigh of relief for uh, 276 passengers uh, who have finally landed here in Mumbai at about 4 a.m. Uh, today uh, on Tuesday. And, uh, you know, they are yet to come out of the airport. Uh, so we have not uh, really got a chance to speak to any of the passengers who uh, were on board. Uh, but we are expecting them to come at the arrival terminal very soon. Uh, as far as uh, the on-ground situation is concerned, what we've been told uh, is that there are 276 passengers, including minors, who have taken the flight yesterday after they got a green approval from the French authorities. Uh, as far as how many unaccompanied minors are there, that is something which we will come to know today when uh, the passengers really come out. But on the other hand, the 25 other people, they have requested for asylum and they are there uh, still at the French soil. As far as the investigation is concerned, uh, what we know that yesterday, uh, the flight which uh, wa the flight was scheduled to leave early but uh, it could not because a lot of passengers did not want to return to India uh, and hence the flight was delayed and that is why the arrival today here in Mumbai was also delayed. Uh, at the Mumbai uh, Airport Authority we are looking at the immigration processes uh, ongoing uh, for the passengers who have come from France. And uh, mm. what we know that further investigations, of course, is being carried out by the French authorities. Right. Uh, Disha, not all Indian passengers are back, like you mentioned. Some are also on the French soil at the moment. The last point you made regarding the investigation. My second question is just a follow-up on that. Now, the plane has landed in Mumbai four days after it was detained by the French authorities over suspected human trafficking. Take us uh, through the investigations which took place at the Battery Airport in France.
Well, uh, that is right. Of course, you know, four days, uh, all of these 303 passengers were detained. They were at the airport, you know. In fact, makeshift arrangements were also done for those last four days when they were grounded at the airport. They were, as part of investigation, they all were being questioned uh, before, of course, uh, you know, they got a green approval that no sort of human trafficking angle was seen, but all of these passengers got on board on their own free will. Uh, so yesterday also before leaving, uh, all of their formalities were being conducted, but at least 25 passengers were such who did not want to return to India. So in the last minute as part of their investigation, uh, you know, they were questioned again as to why they do not want to do that. And then of course they requested for asylum and they are still at the French soil. And after all the thorough process and investigation said that it, they were all clear, they were allowed to board the flight. Right, Disha, we'll uh, wait and uh, watch the Indian passengers getting out of the Mumbai airport and we'll track this uh, story very closely here on Vyond. But thanks very much for joining us here on Vyond and sharing insights with us on the story.